Skeletons, it's Disney Queen Skelly here. Welcome back to another Versus video. So this Versus video is for Indiana Jones here in uh, Disneyland and then the Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular show over in Walt Disney World. I have obviously been on the Indiana Jones ride here at Disneyland plenty, plenty of times and it's a really good ride. I've only ever seen the stunt show Spectacular once. Um, I like how they did it. It was very interesting. Not exactly my cup of tea, but it's one of hubby's favorite things to do at Walt Disney World, so it does have a pretty good special place in my heart because he loves going, so that's pretty much enough for me. <laughs> but if I were to pick personally, I'd pick the Indiana Jones right here at Disneyland. But uh, let me read you these two articles for the, uh, today's verses, and maybe you'll tell me which one of your, which one of these is going to be your favorite Indiana Jones attraction. First, we're going to start with the Indiana Jones Adventure right here at Disneyland. Today in Disney history, Indiana Jones Adventure opened at Disneyland Park in 1995. Grab your fedora and bullwhip. Today Indiana Jones Adventure is celebrating 25 years as one of the most thrilling rides here at the Disneyland Resort. On March 3, 1995, the Temple of the Forbidden Eye that was discovered by Indiana Jones was opened for guests to explore in the heart of Adventureland. Since then, it has brought ancient secrets and a suspense-filled journey to, to guests of Disneyland Park. Let's put our archaeology skills to the test and dig into the history of the attraction. Based on the Indiana Jones films, Indiana Jones Adventure features exotic chambers and hidden gems and suspense around every corner. As you climb aboard the jungle transport and look into the eyes of the deity Mara, you are suddenly taken on a high-speed journey as you work to escape the wrath of the vengeful goddess. The attraction was created through a collaboration between George Lucas, the creator of the Indiana Jones franchise, and Walt Disney Imagineering. When the attraction first opened, it was the largest attraction at Disneyland and increased the size of Adventureland by 33%. When Imagineers were developing Indiana Jones Adventure, they thought of featuring an out-of-control minecar similar to the one that is found in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. However, Imagineers ultimately decided against the minecar since Disneyland already had one in Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. However, the minecar idea still made its way to the attraction in another way. As you walk through the exit of the attraction, you will see a minecar that w was used in the filming of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. There are many other connections between the Indiana Jones Adventure Attraction and the Indiana Jones movies. The screenwriters who wrote Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, Willard Hyuk and Gloria Katz, also consulted on the script for Indiana Jones Adventure. Also inside the attraction, one of the crates on the wall of, Indian of Indiana Jones' office in the queue area is labeled Deliver to Club Obi-Wan, a reference to the opening scene of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom and a tribute to the Obi-Wan Kenobi character in George Lucas' Star Wars films. In addition, one of the German patrol trucks that was featured in the first Indiana Jones film, Raiders of the Lost Ark, can be found in the outside queue area of the attraction. When you look closely, you will see golf balls on the handlebars of the front bumper that were placed there for one of the car chase stunts in the film. Lastly, while on the attraction, the music you hear is the original score from the Indiana Jones films that was adop adapted, arranged, and recorded for the ride. When building the Temple of the Forbidden Eye for Indiana Jones Adventure, inspiration for the Sandstone Temple came from the Hindu temples at Bantia Sri and Angyar Wat in Cambodia and the Mahamala Puram, Virup Aksha, and Ellura temples of India. Inside the temple, you will find more than 1,300 props throughout the queue, more than 168,000 square feet of hand covered surfaces, and 45 foot tall decaying skull of Mara, a 100 foot long king cobra, more than 2,000 replicated human skulls, and 2,129 snakes. The Play Disney Parks app recently added an in-queue experience to Indiana Jones Adventure entitled Indiana Jones Adventure The Gifts of Mara. This game allows you to de decode ancient glyphs, symbols, and codes along the queue of the attraction. The translated code comes together to complete a map that unlocks digital achievements and a special message from Mara herself. Can you avoid the eyes of Mara and find the great treasures you seek? Head on over to the Disneyland Resort to brave unimaginable perils and celebrate 25 thrilling years of Indiana Jones Adventure. Now we're going to be talking about the Indiana Jones stunt show at Walt Disney World. An action-packed show. Watch live as the daring duo dodges traps, battles, bad guys, leaps from tall buildings, and makes thrilling escapes straight out of the Raiders of the Lost Ark. The edge of your seat suspense ends with the dynamite finale. Along the way, get an inside look at how stunts are done with demonstrations that reveal how to safely throw and take punches, fall from tall buildings, and even wield whips in the midst of complex action sequences. 
Join the cast. Raise your hand when the casting director steps on stage to choose some of the adult volunteers. If you get picked, you'll appear as a costumed extra in the show. No before you go. Check the entertainment schedule, the My Disney Experience app, or the Times Guide at Disney's Hollywood Studios for showtimes. This outdoor show is subject to cancellation due to inclement weather. Showtimes are subject to change. Alright guys, and that is it for today's Versus video. Um, again, me personally, I just prefer the Indiana Jones right here at the Disneyland Resort. I don't know if you guys may prefer the stunt show at Walt Disney World, or if you've maybe never been to either one. I mean, whenever you get the chance, I really suggest doing that, or watching POVs on YouTube. They are really, really cool. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section down below which one is your favorite. Bye little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys.